I am on the island of Cozumel, located off of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. And during this video, I'm going to take you on one of the most exciting and dangerous trips of my life. I'm going to take you on a lionfish hunt. Cozumel is filled with countless things to do, and one of the most popular is scuba diving. The reef off the coast of Cozumel is considered one of the best places in the Caribbean to dive. I began diving a few years ago, and one of the things I put on my bucket list was to go on a lionfish hunt. Lionfish are very beautiful, but they are also very dangerous. They have 13 poisonous spines on their bodies, and they can be deadly. But even worse is what they are doing to the reef system throughout the Caribbean. They are not native to the Caribbean and have no natural predators. As a result, they are destroying the reef system. So much so that marine specialists are trying to figure out how to eradicate them from the Caribbean. In fact, many localities require fishermen to kill any lionfish they accidentally catch instead of throwing them back into the sea. Scuba divers can work with local dive shops to go on lionfish hunts. We chose Aldora divers to take us to the isolated northern part of Cozumel where we heard were many lionfish destroying the reef. Off the isolated northern coast of Cozumel is a place called Barracuda Reef. It is a very tough place to dive, filled with dangerous currents, schools of barracuda, sharks, and lionfish. In fact, on the way out, we were given electronic beacon locators to attach to our diving equipment just in case the current swept us out to sea. If that were to happen, we could activate the device and hopefully the Coast Guard could locate us. After about an hour ride, we were at our destination and soon the fun would begin. It wasn't long until we were about 60 feet below the surface of the ocean hunting for these predators. And along the way, it was no surprise that we would see some spectacular sights. It's no surprise why they call this place Barracuda Reef. And one of the real extraordinary things that we saw along the way were these baby stingrays playing on the bottom of the ocean floor. The best place to spot lionfish are beneath rock ledges. And it was not long until I spotted my first lionfish. In fact, in this location, underneath this large ledge, I spotted three. So I went for my first kill. Unsuccessful. But that didn't deter me. I saw the second lionfish close by. This time I was determined not to miss this dangerous predator. I successfully speared my first lionfish. The hunt went on for about 45 minutes, exploring all parts of the ocean floor. Once I got the hang of using the spear, I rarely missed my prey.
Some lionfish are much too small to spear, so in these cases large plastic baggies are used to capture them. But you have to be just as careful because their spines are just as poisonous and just as deadly. We had about eight people in our hunting group and along the way we were able to capture about 30 of these deadly creatures as well as several lobsters. Once back on board we got ready to enjoy our catch. And little did I know, I would be getting ready to have a meal that I will never forget. Lionfish ceviche. While having our lunch prepared, we got a great lesson about lionfish from our dive master. Venomous spines are right here. The wings are nothing, they're just, they're rubbery. He's also got on this point here, this is a venomous one, and so is this one on this fan. Mummy's cut him off. Uh, right here on this, this tail fin right here, the first three are venomous. Other than that, as they get bigger, on the face here, if you touch this, it's kind of sharp. As they get bigger, these get a little sharper. They get stiffer. On the small ones, they're, they're more flexible, but as they get older, they get a little stiffer. And so if you try to grip them like this, you'll usually come away with little razor cuts, you know, like touching coral. So that The lionfish is cold cooked. And what that means is that the lionfish is cooked without any heat. The way you do this is that you soak it in lime juice for about 30 minutes. And the meat turns opaque and the texture firms up. And then it is ready to eat. All right, we just got done with the uh, lionfish hunt. And this is lionfish, fresh lionfish ceviche. With the How's the ceviche, everyone? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> the lionfish hunt and the delicious meal afterwards is certainly a day I will never forget. And riding back on the boat to the south end of the island, all that I can think about is I can't wait to do another lionfish hunt.